Welcome back. We continue our talk about tattoos, and they usually have a big talk about factor if you see someone with a tattoo. And last week we talked about what you should know before getting into a tattoo. Now we're talking about the removal process. It is estimated around 17% of people with tattoos feel some regret, and 11% are getting or have gotten a tattoo removed. Dr. Apple Bodemer with the UW Health joins us to give us some tips about avoiding those regretful tattoos. And so let's Let's talk about it. It often seems like a really great idea when you're going into the tattoo shop, yeah. but then when you get home, years later, you may have second thoughts, but what are those most regretted tattoos? Yeah. Usually those that contain text are the one that people regret the most, so names, song lyrics, poems, and unfortunately those are also the ones that are the hardest to remove. I think people should really think about that any tattoo in a visible location is going to get a lot of questions, mm -hmm. and if you have a name or a message regarding a loved one, you want to think about how you'll feel answering questions regarding that too over and over again. Certainly with images, they are easier to move in the long run, and they also are easier to come up with a bland story that you can change over time and are less likely to stir up some of those mm -hmm. potentially unwanted emotions. Now, to me, that seems kind of funny. That seems backwards that I would feel like an image with a lot of text and coloring and shading mm -hmm. would be a whole lot harder to remove than, like, words or names. Why is that? Well, so basically when you're getting your tattoo removed, a laser is used to blast that ink into smaller particles so that the macrophages from your immune system can come in and clear up up that foreign material, mm -hmm. that, that smaller particles of tattoo ink. And it's harder when you have small, thin lines of script to get an even removal with that laser, that focused laser light. Interesting. Now we're looking at some tattoos here. How does this tattoo removal process work? Well, basically just that. The, you break up the ink into smaller particles, and then your macrophages come in and clear up those smaller ink particles. And, um, and you know, it does take some time, so sessions have to be about six to eight weeks apart, so your body has time to resorb those smaller particles of ink. The removal is painful, costly, and as I mentioned, takes a lot of time. It, any uh, removal of a small tattoo can cost anywhere from 100 to 400, $150 to $400 per session, and it generally requires six to ten sessions to wow. remove a small tattoo. Interesting. So it's, an, it's an investment. Exactly. <laughs> on more than one front. And, and as you said, it is an investment on more than one front. What are some things you should really consider here? Well, certainly you'll want to think about this is a permanent part of your body. Mm -hmm. And even if you do go ahead with removal, some tattoos can't be removed completely, and the best you might get is significant fading. Um, any time your skin is stretched or sags, that tattoo is going to get distorted, so any weight gain or natural sagging with mm -hmm. aging is going to change the way that tattoo looks. All right. Doctor, thanks so much. Giving people a lot of thought, especially with spring break coming up. As we said, it may not be the best time to get that tattoo. <laughs> Just think about it. You want to make sure okay. you think it through. It shouldn't be a rash, spur of the moment decision. You want to make sure you're working with a tattoo mm -hmm. artist whose work you love and that you're really comfortable with and get a great tattoo in an appropriate location. All right, Dr. Bodemer, thanks so much for being with thanks us. Thanks for having me. Now we're going to send it over to Brian, who has a look at your weekend forecast.